weight loss. What a topic. It's a huge topic, isn't it? We see adverts everywhere. Burn your belly fat fast. It's all over social media, all over magazines. How do you know who to trust and what to believe? Well, I have been working for months to get this video ready for you, and I was going to just do one video, but in the end, I've done a 10 part series, a really small bite-sized videos with what I think is everything you need to know to make long-term changes to your health and your weight. Too long, you have been probably trying and failing with dieting, sometimes losing weight, sometimes putting that weight back on. And why should you trust me? Well, I'm Dr. Sophie Newton. I am a GP or a family medicine physician in the north of England, and I've worked within the NHS for years. And day in, day out, I see patients who are really struggling with their weight and the impacts it has on their health, and maybe even impacts it has financially. Maybe your health insurance is going up. There's lots of reasons why you might want to lose weight. And it is hard, but in this 10 part series, I've made it really simple. These videos are all easy to understand, easy to watch. You can even come back and watch some of them again. And these are achievable changes for you to make long-term goals. This isn't gonna be about lose weight fast, fad diets. This is about lose weight for life. So who are these videos for? Well, really anyone who is carrying excess weight, especially if that's putting you at health risk. It's obviously not for anyone who's got an eating disorder and there are some specific health conditions, which mean you may need to speak to your clinician first. But for the vast majority of people, these videos are for you. And how does anyone lose weight? We're kind of told you've got to eat less and move more. And officially, if you burn more calories than you eat, then you lose weight. But of course we know life isn't that simple, is it? And actually we now know we should be treating obesity, although I don't like that word, as a chronic disease, which means we should be thinking about it as we do high blood pressure or as we do things like type two diabetes. This is a long-term problem and it's not your fault. People often blame themselves, think they're just a bit greedy but nobody chooses to become obese. It's not quite as simple as that, is it? There's things like your environment, your genetics, how much sleep you're getting, how stressed you are, and what your diet is. There's all sorts of different jigsaw puzzle pieces that come together to have this kind of cause of obesity. And we do know that unfortunately there are lots of health problems that come along with being obese or carrying too much extra weight. These are things like type two diabetes, osteoarthritis, heart disease, high blood pressure, and around about 13 different cancers. So we do know that losing weight is really important for your health. You probably know that already. So one extra thing I want to say before I go is be kind to yourself because day in, day out, I see these patients and they're not kind to themselves. When we talk about kind of carrying extra weight, people are really angry at themselves. So just remember, speak to yourself as you would a friend. Give yourself those positive tips. Now get on, you can start watching video one straight away and get on to those positive steps of losing weight and feeling happier and healthier.